Vince Palomini's father started in 1928 as the Italian American restaurant. Um, and that was during Prohibition. When it first opened during the Prohibition era in the 1920s, the restaurant did not originally go by the name The Green Front. The business, established by the Palomini family, was called the Italian American Restaurant, located in the heart of the Italian neighborhood in Canandaigua. During a time where alcohol consumption was outlawed, the Green Front building served as a speakeasy, and it was codenamed the Green Front simply because the front exterior of the building was green. They never stopped serving alcohol all through Prohibition. Uh, some of the biggest customers were the town police, and it was always nicknamed the Green Front, hence the nickname to the speakeasy. When the days of Prohibition ended in 1933, it officially went by the name the Green Front. So Prohibition lifted in 1933, they said, screw it, we're going to call the place the Green Front because that's what everybody knows it as. So it became the Green Front in 1933. And then uh, it ran by the Palomini family all the way to 1983, according to Vince. They sold it in um, December of 1983. It kept that name for decades, and it became a spot that residents would fondly remember for years to come. I remember coming up the back stairs with a pan from home, and we'd walk in the back door, and I'd go home with spaghetti and meatballs, veal cutlet, veal parm, and uh, I think they gave us bread too. Oh yeah, just everything. Many a night when great. you didn't want to cook, <laughs> that's where you came. <laughs> I remember back in the late 50s, we lived around the corner on Pleasant Street, and my mother on Friday nights used to say, go up to the green front and tell your dad that dinner's ready. So I would walk up here, I'd walk inside and say, Pa, dinner's ready. He'd say, sit over there, have a Coke, and we'll go in a little while. That's what I remember about the Green Front. <laughs> Yay, to the Green Front. <laughs> Reestablished. Back in the day, when we got married, uh, we had our rehearsal. rehearsal party here in the back room. That was back in 1964. My uncle had worked here for like uh, 40 years, so uh, I remember it as a kid. We grew up in the neighborhood just a street away. But, uh, uncle Dam. My Uncle Dam. They lived yeah. upstairs. They, they lived upstairs and uh, him and Aunt Joe. It's really an upgrade to the neighborhood. So. And Vincent Rosley used to live upstairs in one of the apartments. Yeah. And when I first started going with Bill, she was babysitting one night and he took me up and that's where I first met his mother. She was babysitting upstairs in the apartment. <laughs> the green front is a new memory for me. So Eric, this will make memories, right? Right. We're that is so correct, excited so. for Eric. <laughs> what a great restaurant. It looks fabulous. Just making sure the stainless stays stainless, baby. <laughs> What's your favorite memories from one back when you had it? All the wonderful people. Too much work. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the history of it. They, uh, one family ran it, and it was just a joint. Nevertheless, the Green Front closed in 1989. And since then, a series of other establishments opened in that location. And then in February of 2012, history would be made again for the Green Front when business partners Eric Zimmerman and Bobby Johnston got together and decided they wanted to bring back the spot that was at one time so important to Canandaigua. Both of us thought it needed uh, some saving. And Bobby's family, Bobby's father, worked here for how many years? Fifteen. Fifteen years. So he's got an attachment to it. And, uh, you know, the history of the old Italian bar kind of appealed to both of us. And, uh, trying to bring it back. We thought it, uh, we thought we could bring it back to what it once was. Zimmerman and Johnston were able to purchase the property and begin the project. Well, we just followed it from the Palomini family and thought it would be good to bring back old Canandaigua again, you know, kind of go back to that era. We thought we could fix and clean up a few things, and every time Eric would show up, we were tearing more walls out. We just have totally gone through it, and it's been a fun project. The construction and renovations took longer than expected. But after seven months of work, the restaurant opened in October of 2012 with tremendous enthusiasm and support from the community. I've been in business on this street for 40 years, and uh, this, uh, this building, is, they've done a great job with it. Uh, very nice. Uh, I think it's probably better than it's ever been here. Oh, fantastic. Very uh, nice. Bring back a lot of memories. We think it's just wonderful, of course. And we wish them nothing but the best. The inside is an ode to Canandaigua's history, 
It includes signs from past neighborhood businesses and old newspaper clippings. And that Pabst Blue Ribbon sign up there came out of the Beer Garden at Roseland. Among the throwback memorabilia, the back area of the restaurant features a shuffleboard table that's been converted into a dining table, along with old photos from Zimmerman's family. Local brew from Naked Dove Brewery in Hopewell is heavily featured on the restaurant's taps, but the drink selection also includes a nostalgic selection called Dad's Canned Beer. All right, this is our original bar that we refinished with stainless steel. And then right behind Nick here is 24 drafts that we put in. <laughs> Over here is Dad's canned beer list, always iced, always ready to go. Old favorites, Paps Blue Ribbon, Genesee, there's some cream ale in here somewhere, some Schaefer, and Old Milwaukee. The Green Front has traditional bar food, but also features classics from its older incarnation. The new owners decided to bring back entrees such as the cheeseburger on a heel with Green Front sauce and the same chili recipe that older generations may remember. While the focus at the Green Front does recognize its history, there's also some youthful energy behind the new business. Newly minted general manager Ryan Zangi started working for Zimmerman at Eric's office when he was 15 years old. He started in the kitchen where one of his primary duties was to wash dishes. I started when I was 15 with Eric Zimmerman at the office. I started out in the kitchen. I did a little bit of everything, dishwashing, uh, cooking, prepping, I eventually got into catering and uh, Eric let me get out into the front end of the house a little bit. While Zangi went to SUNY Potsdam with the idea of getting into the healthcare profession, he soon realized he wanted to remain in the restaurant business. My favorite thing in this business is dealing with people and uh, I really, really truly enjoy what I, what I do in the restaurant business. Zimmerman has groomed Zangi over the years and he is now getting his chance at the green front. As long as we keep uh, serving the products that we serve and you know, producing the quality of product that we've been putting out, I believe that uh, we're going to continue to be successful. With over 90 years of history, the Green Front has once again become a favorite gathering place for good food and drink in the downtown Canandaigua area. Come visit us at the Green Front in Canandaigua, New York. <music>